Part three, in denial of your improvement. In denial of your improvement. We'll look at the first two I did in denial. It's in denial series. Um, if when someone's asking you, well, in Jesus' name, you're healed. Be healed. We speak to the body. Um, start our, what, what improvements are you seeing? Well, you got to shift gear. Shift to, to focus on not pain, not paralysis, but what's moving. And if you, you're going to you, be aware that you're going to feel like it's a lie. It feels, the lie feels like the truth, and the truth feels like a lie until you get used to the truth that you're healed. Tony Myers woke up paralyzed and had to bite it off again. So his, um, G, you know, in Jesus' name, I'm not taking this back. I don't know how long it took, but he, did, he, he was completely paralyzed again. So he fought off paralysis four times. First time, I mean... It's all miraculous, but it's all part of faith. So we learn to do this and keep doing it till we stay well all the time. Um, when we help each other in faith, what improvement are you seeing? The person can get very irritated. And feel like they're lying if they say they're improving. And why is that? The carnal mind thinks it's the truth. And then until I'm 100%, oh, are you 90% better? Well, yeah, but there's this 10%. Are you 99% better? Yeah, but there's this 1%. <laughs> why can't we say I'm like almost completely better? Because we don't want to accept that that is all we get. No, we want 100% improvement, but we have to. In order to move forward for healing, you have to focus on how much improvement there's been and how much better you feel. Boy, does it is it hard for the flesh to say, I'm feeling a little better. <laughs> You've got to learn to say, I feel a little better no matter how bad it feels. I feel a little better. It, it's going to feel like a lie. And the truth of improvement it feels like a lie. But that's because we believe carnally in the flesh until we get trained to believe in the spiritual. And then when you're so spiritual, I don't mean that in a bad way. When you're so, when you're so trained to the spiritual like Jesus... You start talking spiritual truth and people think you're lying because they're in the flesh. So Jesus said things like, she's not dead, she's only sleeping. Well, when we, we read the scripture, when he raised people from the dead two or three times, he said he... Or she is not dead she's only sleeping well that was the truth but we that aren't used to raising the dead and are still carnal would say why did he say that 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 was a lie it wasn't it's not true to us but it was real it was the truth they weren't he was I don't know how to explain it spiritually but it starts to make sense after you live it breathe it do it you can't think of the person that just died in front of you if you want to raise them from the dead as dead you have to think they're not dead and hurry up and start speaking to that body get up Harold get up come back in the name of Jesus and demand it Curry Blake when he learned to raise his, someone from the dead it was his second daughter I don't remember how old she was two fell out of a window and he started he knew enough he wasn't ready but he knew enough to start start speaking to her he got everybody out of the out of the room they were like what happened he carried her back in started speaking to her body you know five minutes is like an eternity when that happens people knocking on the door what happened what happened stay out 
stay out. You got to keep your mind on the truth. She's coming back. I'm raising her from the dead. This is, the devil's not going to take another one from me. He said, what a testimony. Well, he left, let everybody stay outside. It took 45 minutes because he wasn't, you know, tuned in to, he had to do it and do it now. I'm, so I, she will live and not die. She will live and not die. She will live and not die. And propping her up like she's just a rag doll. Well, the, the carnal person would say, she's dead. She's dead, Curry. And he was like, nope. <laughs> Satan's, Satan's not taking another one from me. She, he propped her up and spoke to her till she came back. 45 minutes doesn't seem like very long now, but when you're doing raising someone from the dead, how many times are you going to be tempted to give up? Oh my gosh. Praise God. He's got that testimony that second daughter is alive today because uh, but I guess it was 45 minutes. <gasps> her body, she took that breath. Praise God. You can be thinking, of, well, you know, it's better in heaven. Let her go. Just let her go. He had to stick with the truth that my daughter, I'm not losing another one. This daughter is coming back. I got her here. Nobody's taking this away from me. You got to keep on, keeping on with faith. And we're going to learn how to reverse paralysis and keep up on it. Keep speaking to our body. Keep believing and looking for improvement. Don't let go of that improvement. Don't be in denial of improvement. And don't let go of it. When you feel that tingling coming back into your legs, I'm feeling my legs. It feels like a lie when you say that. I'm feeling my legs. I'm feeling my legs. I'm feeling my legs. I'm feeling, um, feeling things. Things are changing. Um, write it down. Convince yourself that you are improving. And if you have support from others, you know, it's it feels a little rough to, to go into the truth when you've been living in the lies. Praise God. All at once, it can happen in half a second. So says Tony Myers, who's been healed of paralysis four times. And we'll be talking about that tonight, April 30th. Be there. See ya. Go live on Tony, Tony Myers. M-Y-E-R-S. Tony Myers' Facebook page. Go live tonight, 7 o'clock.